You look like a Smurf to me, man. <laughs> and we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with Rich from God and Capers. Rich, you've already filleted everything out. We've got a yellowtail, we've got a genuine red, and we've got a red grouper. People sometimes get a little bit nervous on skinning them. Can you show us how to skin all these properly? Sir. All right. Don't call me sir. It's just fly. There you go. So what are we doing? First, just kind of get it, get get the you know the your knife started just up underneath the meat between the skin and the meat. I I angle the the, the blade you know just a little bit. You don't want to angle it too much. Okay. Because it just makes it a little bit harder to skin. And once you got once you got about that much of the meat away from the skin, where you can get a good grip on the skin. Uh huh. What you're going to do is you're going to be pulling on the skin about as much. You're not really pushing the knife. You're more pulling, pulling the skin than you are pushing the knife. What, you know, pushing the knife, all that's going to do is start to tear up the meat. Okay. And all I'll do is I'll just, I'll just barely move the knife back and forth. But I'm pulling. It doesn't really look like it, but I'm, I'm pulling on this skin. Clean as a whistle. Yep. And then you know, then you, all, you know, then you have a pin bone that runs right in here, and you can actually feel it with your fingers. All right there. And right about to where it stops. Take your knife blade, just the tip of your blade. And that's it. You know, then you just kind of trim it up, make it nice and neat, and. Beautiful. Yeah, nice Got a oh. Same thing, we're just going to take the knife, just get it started enough, just enough where we can grab the skin. And pull. And, oh yeah, just pulling. It's more pulling than it is pushing, like I said. That's it. You want to keep your knife at, you know, A little bit of an angle when you're skinning, so you so you you know you'll get the most meat off of that. You know, um, which you've gotten most of it off. Yep. And the red snappers, basically, this just about the same as a as a yellowtail. All you're going to do is just start. Keep my knife blade at just a little bit. You know, put a little bit of an angle to it. Okay. That's it. Same pin bones? Same, same thing. They have the same kind of bones as the yellowtail does. Just going to trim that away. You got the gloves, Thank man. They were, I was going to say something about the gloves, but I'm going to leave. I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it alone. Now on a grouper fillet, it's a little bit tougher than a yellow, you know, a snapper. Okay. So you can, you know, like a snapper, it's, you know, I think a lot of people, they're afraid they're going to cut through it. Grouper fillet, I mean, yeah, you can, but it's, I mean, you can feel the grouper skin, how much, how much tougher it is. It, it's a thicker skin. It's a very thicker skin, very much thicker. But kind of same thing, just kind of angle the blade. If you're pulling on the fillet. Same as we would have done with the snapper. The same thing. They have basically the same kind of bones as the, as the red snapper and the yellowtail.
I think on the red grouper, the, the, the bones, they'll actually kind of curl up. Okay. Up underneath, you know, they won't kind of come straight down. Actually, you know, they won't go straight down to the a fillet. You know, they'll actually kind of curve. curve back underneath a little so bit. So sometimes, yeah, when you when you're when you're boning the the, the fillet with your knife, yeah. I kind of put it at a little bit of an angle okay. to follow the fillet. And there's and all fish are different. Well, I shouldn't say all fish, but there are different types of fish where the where the bone will actually kind of. I mean, you cut a fillet, you'll cut the rib, you know, a, a pin bone out. You know, and it'll, sometimes it'll be this wide because they don't follow that bone. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, They're yeah. not following it, so. Well, I got a question for you. Have you ever saved the skins and made boots out of these I things? I have not. Might I, I interest, thought about it. Might I interest you in a set of cowboy boots <laughs> that you can wear on the weekends? No, sir, I'm are, good. Are you sure? I'm positive. I mean, I think they'd look good on you. You can wear the red snappers on Tuesdays and the red groupers on Thursdays. Oh, I'll, 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 good. I'll wear one pair, you wear the other pair. How about that? Deal. Thanks for joining us in the fly zone. <laughs>